What's going on guys? JT is the latest Mustang and automotive news. Here it is. The 2018-2019 Ford Mustang Bullet. So, I just watched the live stream. I watched them pull the car out. They did a little introduction video and then as soon as they released the car, I guess they, they're they allowed to release all this information because Road & Track posted this article and then Jalopnik and then all, all the pictures and all the write-ups started coming out. So basically, the horsepower numbers have been released. It's going to be at least 475 horsepower. And I just posted a video, but I had to repost because this article came out explaining why it was going to be 475 horsepower. And how they also increased the top speed from 155 to 163 miles an hour. And they're still tuning it. So, you know, they're using a different throttle body and a different intake. So that's probably going to be. Now, if you don't know, the GT350 intake manifold fits on the second gen Coyote. I'm assuming it fits on the third gen Coyote also. The third gen Coyote makes 460 horsepower. The second gen makes 435. So this one's making about 475. So I'm assuming they've got some type of a different intake manifold that they've designed for the bullet that gives it some torque and allows it to keep some torque and also increase the top end uh, horsepower. So 475 is what we're looking at. Six speed manual only, you're not going to get automatic in this car. Um, if you do notice, this car is a performance package, is what they're putting on them. It looks like it has the bullet emblem here. Unfortunately, they left some chrome trim on the window seals. Uh, I noticed that in one of the pictures from the press conference. I believe it's on the Mustang boards over here. There's still some chrome trim on the windows. Super cool picture, and I don't know whose original picture this is, but. All these guys are sharing it, so I'm going to post that one. But basically, it's going to be a performance package car, it looks like. Now, they did change the color of the rotors, uh, of the calipers, from the performance package. Normally, the performance package cars, if you just get a GT with a performance package, it has black calipers like mine with red lettering. These are solid red with white. makes it pop a little bit. You know, they didn't have to do that, but they did, so it's cool. Um... You know, they could have gone even more subtle with the whole thing, even more understated, but it's pretty good. I mean, you know, they were complaining that this is a little too big, and if you wanted to go down that road, you could say that's too flashy. And But, I mean, overall, man, it's a cool car. It's not like, it's, you know, you if you're an enthusiast, you know what it is, because they only come in this color, and um, what a good-looking car that is. So you've got the Michelin Pilot Sports. If you don't know the performance package, you get, um, I believe Magna Ride is going to be an option also. And then the Recaros are an option also. So that's pretty cool. So this car is going to be badass. 475 horsepower, so you get more power. So you build it out, run of those Camaros. Um, now it does have the grill delete slash, you know, no emblems. Emblem delete, I guess what you could call that. So you don't get the 5.0 badge here. You don't get the pony emblem here. Uh, the grill is different. Normally they have these kind of things in the grill and the lower grill. Um, those aren't there. Obviously the different wheels. Uh, Ricardo's are an option. She said that on the. She said that there is actually a. What did she say? A sport tuned exhaust. So the exhaust has a special note for the bullet. There's no interior pictures. I saw some interior pictures earlier, but it's got a white eight ball style shift knob like the original. Um, and off the top of my head, that's all I can think of right now. I can go over to the forums and try to find a couple more um, things that people were posting up, maybe some, some better pictures. I think Matt Moran just had some pictures that he posted up, yeah. Oh, it does have black painted tips, it looks like. I looked in the pictures, they look like they're black. Um, the color does look good on the light. It is a slick looking color. Now this looks like a PP splitter, or maybe that's unique. I don't know if the PP, the PP splitter on the 2018, is that aggressive or not? Um, there's the brakes, the new wheels, the bullet wheels, unique to the bullet. 255-40-19s on the front. There's that eight ball shifter I was talking about. Bullet on the steering wheel there. The Recaro seats, the digital dash. This is a PP, so you get the two gauges engine turn dash um, design on the on the dash there 
You've got green stitching on the Recaros to kind of match the exterior color. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, someone mentioned they didn't like this. Um, the chrome trim on the door. You know, if you're going for the subtle look, people don't like that as much. But uh, it's kind of a brushed aluminum look. I guess maybe it's chrome. It looks. It doesn't look exactly chrome to me. But and then there's the grill. Um, not much to say about that. It does look pretty understated and subtle. So I like it. It's going to be a runner with those seats, the manual transmission, the Magna ride, and the extra horsepower to rev up a little more higher top end. It should be a beast on the track. There's some pictures from Ford and they're saying these are not going to be the GT350 style uh, front end on this car. Let's see if there's any more posts that people are just, as we're doing this video, people are uploading stuff. It's gone crazy. Yeah, I took a video too, but none of it turned out that well. They drove the car out um, and they did, a, they did a little video where they were doing some burnouts and stuff. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool video. Um, that's about it. So what do you think, guys? Um, I'm not sure how much they're going to charge. It is going to be a limited edition. There's the original car that they're bringing out. Great looking car. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, I post the latest and greatest Mustang and automotive news. Should you get this bullet Mustang or because this car is probably going to be 48. Okay. If you get the Recaros and you get everything, the Magna ride, and then the bullet package, I don't know how much this is separately. I, I'm, a f I'm pretty sure it's going to be, I mean, it's not a package, I know, but I wonder how much over the other car it's going to be. It's not going to be $2,500 difference. It's probably going to be more than that. And then once you go to the dealerships, they're going to ask for that. Uh, they call it market value. Uh, what do they call it? They call it ADM. But if you go on the window stickers, it says something goofy like, market value adjustment, right? Market value adjustment. So if people are willing to pay $10,000 over, I mean, people, I'm sure these will be selling for 50, $60,000 the way that the prices are going. So for 50 or 60, you could get a new Corvette. You can get a used Audi R8. You could get a supercharged and you get a super, like a Whippled 2015 to 2017 Mustang with all the ivory part you can imagine. So very cool car, uh, somewhat of a collector's maybe. Cool car. All right, guys. Adios.